What's happening to the prices of cars? Is now a good time to buy a car? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the homework guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Car prices, what's happening? It's a question everyone would like an answer to, so over the next several weeks, I'll release some brief updates on current market conditions to keep you up to date on what's happening. If you're a first timer here, consider subscribing and leave us a comment below. Add hashtag the homework guy if you'd like a response directly from me or one of my staff members. You can also email me at info at the homework guy.com if you have a specific question or if you'd like a free car contract review, just black out all your personal information. All right, here's what you should know about car prices. Before any of the national pandemic news was hitting us, automotive industry was already suffering from two straight years of decline. Doom and gloom was being published by everyone, from Edmonds and Business Insider to much of the mainstream media. Signs of trouble have been everywhere. Auto loan interest rates reached their highest level in a decade. Monthly payments are at record highs. Retail auto sales were softening for months. Loan terms on new vehicles were stretching to insane levels, nearly six years on average. That's what I'm talking about. And certain consumers, especially buyers looking for a car less than $30,000, are being pushed out of the new vehicle market as traditional entry-level segments are being cut. All of this was happening, and then March hit. So if you were wondering if prices are down, yes, down by about 10%. If you were looking at a car just a few months ago, priced at $26,000, you should be discounting that vehicle by $2,600 and not paying a dime over $23,400 for it. Of course, it could be even lower now. But wait, there's more to come. In the next few weeks, I'll update you on that information. We're sitting in the midst of factory shutdowns and depressed new vehicle demand. Alarms about a price collapse are being heard everywhere. What does this mean? Car prices could be a lot lower than they already are before year's end. This could be a big game changer for manufacturers and lenders and even for rental car companies famous for dumping a lot of used cars into the market every year. Used vehicle auctions right now are literally paralyzed. Vehicles are piling up at auction sites and other places where buyers and sellers move cars, trucks, and SUVs at wholesale prices. The problem is only going to get worse, even as markets start to open up. Why? Because wary buyers aren't going to immediately start flooding dealerships, and I expect it to have lasting repercussions. Here's more of what's coming in the near future. If you're currently in a lease, expect the automakers and their lending units to reduce the value of existing lease contracts. I'm talking about leases you might be currently in. The predetermined market value of your leased vehicle has changed, and they're going to have to make some adjustments for that before the lease ends. GM, Ford, and others are already extending leases because they don't want your car back in the midst of this financial chaos, and they want to keep your payments coming in. That means for some of you who are wondering about getting out of your leases early, well, now might not be a really great time for that. Nobody wants your car back at the moment. As I mentioned, rental car companies are also playing a big role in driving down car prices, as many have already dumped large numbers of their cars when the market started shutting down, adding to the overflow problem on auction lots. They took big hits on those vehicles, and that will translate into lower-cost cars for you if you're in the market. Hertz, Avis, and Enterprise are still trying to find ways to unload even more cars without taking too big of a hit. As those vehicles continue to come into a market already full of cars, prices will drop even further. What will the next few months bring? The truth is that you'll keep getting better deals for some time to come. Unprecedented levels of vehicles will continue to flood the wholesale auto auctions, and while there are no official reports as of this recording, every indication is that new car deals before year's end will be smoking hot. They have no choice. New car prices were already sky high, way too high. But with millions of Americans receiving unemployment benefits, creating a very slow turnaround, car manufacturers are going to have to dig deep and pony up with some amazing deals before year's end. Here's the bottom line. As I already mentioned, used car prices are already down 10%, whether your local dealer has dropped prices or not. If you're in the market to buy, now is a great time to wheel and deal. You're in the driver's seat. Any car dealership that doesn't recognize that it's going to take every bit of cash they can get their hands on to sustain their businesses, well, your car deal and every car deal that comes their way is going to be important. Well, those dealers will just be gone. If you run into a dealer with an attitude, just move on. They'll wise up in the days ahead. You, the buyer, have tons of cars you can select from with tons of very hungry sellers to provide what you need. And if you don't need a car immediately, time and patience will only make the deals better. If you've done your homework and you've watched plenty of the videos I have on this channel and you have the discretionary money to spend, go out and get yourself an amazing car deal. 
And don't ever forget about the private party car market. Tons of great vehicles out there for sale, and you could be helping someone who desperately needs to sell. You won't suffer any of the finance office harassment, and you'll definitely get a car cheaper. Just get your mechanic to look at anything you decide is right for you, dealer or private party. If it's used, I'll have another update for you on car prices in the next two weeks. All right, if you appreciated the video today, consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And do me a favor, would you? Include hashtag the homework guy in your comments below. Share the video on social media with your friends and use the hashtag again with time. The accumulation of information and tips on hashtag the homework guy will be phenomenal. The merchandise shelf for the Homework Guy store is below the video, and we continue to add fun new designs to it. And for those of you who'd like to say thanks for the tip, I'll leave the links for the Cash App and PayPal in the description box below. I've helped millions of car buyers with videos and free contract reviews, and we'll keep giving you up-to-date videos like this one on the current market conditions. I'll be back soon with a new video on how to do a proper vehicle inspection when buying a used car and the value of having a great mechanic. Look at it first before you buy. Thanks everyone for coming back. I'll see you soon. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.